Hey guys, it's Miranda Hughes. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you to those who have hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Um, if you haven't yet, those of you who haven't, go ahead and do so. And those of you who have, thank you. Um, I'm going to jump into this because I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm actually out running errands. But anyways, the song that God gave me today is Ships in the Night by Matt Kearney. And it's kind of an older song, but it's like really, really good. But anyways, I'm not going to read all of this because, again, it kind of repeats itself. But um, I do want to read the, ma the main parts that God gave me. So this is your kind of like about you and your prodigal just talking about memories or talking about like you know some kind of a connection that you and them have had in the past even if it was just a date or if it was like mainly for people who've had you know history in the past but I mean if you had any kind of interaction with your prodigal in the past at all like maybe it was just talking about you know relatives and circumstances and scenarios and things like that it still applies but this is just kind of about your prodigal realizing um since they're starting to care about you and god and the situation and everything and the assignment that he's put over his life or her life or whatever um this is just kind of like you know talking about how your prodigal is searching for you like he's beginning to search for you or she's beginning to search for you they're trying to find their way back to you so anyways, I'm going to get into it. Um, and again, I'm going to try to keep this short because I don't have a whole lot of time. But uh, the first part says, like ships in the night, you keep passing me by. We're just wasting time trying to prove who's right. And if it all goes crashing into the sea, if it's just you and me trying to find the light. So the light, you know, represents God and all that. So you guys are trying to find the right way to live life, the right way to like get where you need to go and as you're navigating through choices decisions and circumstances um relationships the second part is um oh sorry and you definitely want you know god to be in the midst of that second part is like ships in the night letting cannonballs fly say what you mean and it turns to a fight fists fly from my mouth as it turns south you're down the driveway i'm on the couch so some of you guys did not have the best relationship in the past it was probably either violent or physical or just um I don't know you guys just maybe had one really bad blow up of an argument or something um so that's just really what that's talking about the next part is chasing your dream since the violent fifth grade trying to believe in your silent own way because we'll be okay I'm not going away like you watched at 14 as it went down the drain okay so obviously you and your prodigal had spoken about how your parents were and your prodigal either may have promised you that they're not going away um or they may just um, they realize that you've been through a lot and that they don't want that to be the same thing for you because it was important to you like that's what you were exposed to or were around when you were a child um, so they don't, they don't want a repeat of that history second part is and pop stayed the same and your mom's moved away how many of our parents seem to make it anyway again God's working on you and your prodigal to be different than your parents to be different than um, the way that you were raised so that way you don't raise up the next generation to be the same way. Um, the next part says we're just fumbling through the gray trying to find a heart that's not walking away. And you know that's just looking for commitment, looking for someone who's like really going to be sticking it out and being true to what they say and also what they do um, as they are in this committed relationship with you. Um, turn the lights down low, walk these halls alone, we can feel so far from so close that's how where a lot of us are at right now it's like you feel like it's so close but it also in a way feels very far away too and it just feels like man when is this promise gonna get here when is it gonna happen I'm kind of getting frustrated I'm getting annoyed because it's like I just it just needs to get here and this is kind of how pregnant ladies feel when they're about ready to give birth to their children like you know they uh they are so so close yet it feels so far away and then before you know it they end up giving birth so it's just that transitional period of the waiting period I guess the next part and I already read this but I'll read it again because um, this is the highlighted part that God gave me like ships in the night you keep passing me by we're just wasting time trying to prove who's right so because you and your prodigal have not reached out to each other it just it, that's what it feels like to your prodigal it feels like you guys are wasting time just kind of like 
waiting for the other person to reach out instead of just making things happen. Um, and then the next part says, and if it all goes crashing into the sea, and if it's just you and me trying to find the light, like ships in the night, you're passing me by, you're passing me by like ships in the night. So like, obviously at nighttime when ships are passing through, that's why lighthouses are there. You know, and in this scenario, the lighthouse represents God. And, you know, it feels like at sh like ships in, in the night, excuse me, like you kind of represent Christ to that prodigal or to that person. And, excuse me, um the way that they feel is like they're trying to navigate and you're kind of like that light like you like represent god and you're just like putting that light out there and it's kind of like helping the boat not just avoid running into the the lighthouse but also like giving it light so it can kind of see and they can actually come to the lighthouse and that's kind of like what this is like you know um if everything goes wrong and it comes crashing down and it's just you and your prodigal if that's the only two people that you guys have any in each other's lives and that's it that's all you guys need um but just you guys are like the ships um your prodigal feels like that you are passing them by like they feel like you're passing up on them and you want nothing to do with them and they're just trying to find you is all they're trying to do right now um the next part says and i'm at the airport waiting on a second plane i had to pack and you had cramps and i was late headed to a red carpet they won't know my name writing in silence all that we want to say so even though life could be great, you guys may have moments where, you know, um, where it just was, it was either awkward or just wasn't working out, something like that, where it was like you guys cared for each other, but at the same time, things were getting in the way, things were kind of getting complicated, it was getting awkward and, and awkward silence, things like that, and there was just so much that you guys needed to talk about. Um, the next part says, about to board, when you call on the phone, you say, I'm sorry, I'll be waiting at home. So, again, that's like kind of like you representing, trying to work something out, like apologizing, even if it wasn't your fault. Um, even if it was last minute, you're still trying to make an effort to make this union work. Um, and then the next part says, feels like we're learning this out on our own, trying to find a way down the road we don't know. And that's exactly what this is. None of your prodigal and myself and you guys have never been on this journey before we've never been in this kind of a union before we've never included god in our relationships before like this we've never put god first in things like this and so that's pretty much how it feels is that you're just kind of sometimes it feels like you're tiptoeing on things other times you're just kind of like i'm not sure what am i supposed to do other times you feel confident and you're like okay like i'm just gonna go for this and then it could be right or wrong but the point is is that you're stepping out and you're trying and then the last part that god wanted me to read is um i love this it's at the very ending of the song um not the exact ending but close to it um and it says and i'm gonna find my way back to your side and i'm gonna find my way back to your side so that is your prodigal saying i am determined to find you i am determined to go wherever you are at even if they don't know they're gonna hunt you down they're gonna find you okay in a good way um it's not gonna be a stalker creepyish way it's just they need you and you need them and they're like i'm done with this old lifestyle i'm done with the, the the person that i was talking to who isn't you and i'm done being disobedient to god like they're like i'm done and i just you know it feels like a ship in the night and i'm trying to find the light like he's trying to find you and you represent Christ. So, cause you give off that light of Christ. So you kind of represent like the lighthouse and they're trying to find you. So I hope that made sense. Comment down below if it did. And if it didn't, I'm sorry, maybe rewatch it a couple times and see if it does. Um, but again, it also might make sense if you guys actually just listen to the song. So I will put down in the comment section um, or the description section, sorry. Uh, the link for the song for this and then you guys can check it out yourself and let me know what you guys think of it if you can relate to it or not again don't forget to take this word back to God and pray about it make sure it's meant for you because even if it is you still need to take it back to God and have him confirm it to you because I only know in part um, and also if you feel led to you know sow into this ministry please do so thank you for everything that you guys have done um, by supporting and just you know watching my stuff I appreciate it um, God bless you guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.